Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to uh, Critique Corner. Uh, yes, hype video uh, review. Yes. Uh, now, we should mention that the no hype, yes hype is less about our opinion of the movie. It's more about did we actually say have something to say back when it was relevant? Yes. <laughs> and, and, you know, we've been hitting the Batman and Doctor Strange when they hit streaming, which means months after anybody actually cares or would, would care about our opinion. Yeah, but yeah. this time we can actually be you know, informative and talk about a movie that the algorithm is interested in right now. You're right, exactly. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're uh, we are looking at Prey, which is the uh, the newest entry in the Predator franchise. Uh, first one done under the uh, new ownership. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and also the first straight to streaming one. Yes, yeah. Yes, because, uh, and part of the reason for that maybe because the last Predator movie did terribly. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we were looking it up for just out of curiosity. The 2010 Predator movie, Predators, which people I've talked to have a pretty favorable opinion of that one. I'm a Predator newbie. I only just watched the original two years ago and I haven't seen, and this is the first sequel that I've seen. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I, I don't have much of an opinion on those, but yeah, that one made about 150 million ish worldwide on a 40 million dollar budget, and then years later, it's like, okay, we'll bring back that guy with the glasses from the original <laughs> movie to, you know, Shane Black to work on it. Yeah, <laughs> and it made about the same on 88 million budget, so that was a huge flop. Yes, yeah, and uh, nobody liked it either. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Uh, it was interesting to see what the follow-up would be here. And uh, so the way we're going to structure this is we're going to have a non-spoiler part of the review. We're going to have our spoiler part of the review. Yes. Yeah. And we'll, we will give a, give our warning once we go into spoilers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cause we, we know that this movie just recently came out and there are probably quite a few people who haven't seen it yet. So they'll, they'll, they'll they will care about spoilers. Yes. Uh, yeah. Unlike say Dr. Strange. it's like, Wait, didn't it come out in May? Why, why do you have a spoiler section? Because we're professionals-ish. That's why. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, as far as my whole thing with the Predator, I've seen, I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I've seen every, uh, every, I haven't seen the last one, the, the Shane Black one, but I've seen all the other ones. Um, Does that include Alien Versus? Uh, the first Alien versus the one that um, what's his name did um, the Mortal Kombat guy um, Anderson Paul W S Anderson, okay. um, but uh, yeah I, I didn't see the other Alien versus but I don't know, I don't even know if those are considered canon or not I don't know what's you know uh, I think I think money is what decides if it's canon or not oh okay <laughs> it's, it's like a, a what is it um, Godzilla has so many movies at this point that only treat the first one as canon. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like, well, we just kind of want to wash this away because this kind of goofy stuff might take away the money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So um, I, I've seen that. So the original Predator is a classic. Yes. Untouchable. Yeah. It's untouchable. It's, you're not going to, you're not going to beat it. The second one I thought was, was good. Um, that was with Danny Glover. It's in LA and it's in the future LA. Um, uh, the future world of, I think, like 1998. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's, uh, it was all right. Um, not, not, not great. Um, and then Predators, I thought, was, was, I, I didn't really like it all that much. Um, I think it was because um, he had Adrian Brody as a as a special forces guy, and he, he yeah, that's not, believable. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Adrian um, Brody, Adrian Brody, Adrian Brody, Adrian Brody. <laughs> now your giggles tell me that you recognize what I'm referring to. If you in the audience don't, uh, do a go to YouTube, and do a quick search for Adrian Brody, and you'll get a weird little fun music video from about 15 years ago yeah <laughs> uh but uh and like i said i haven't seen the shane black one because i heard it was terrible um so but this one so prey is 
uh, different. Uh, it, it's the same, but different from a lot of the Predator movies. Um, it takes place uh, in 1719, so a little, about three year, 300 years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, it said that the, the Great Northern Plains, which I assume is like the Dakotas and Montana. Mm-hmm. That... Well, for, for my understanding of where the Comanche were at that point, uh, I think that what I settled on as my guess would be like the ro- foothills, the Rockies, and like the Colorado area. Oh, okay. What's my best guess? That that's just me doing quick research. My what not what knowledge I have of the different tribes and uh, just a little bit of guesswork. But yeah, it's okay. like a, we're not talking desert. We're not talking endless plains. There's like mountain mixed mm-hmm. forest with some open ground. Um, it's it's hilly and everything. Yeah, that's yeah, that sounds more like Colorado. Uh, my my uh, my old stomping grounds, um, and it follows uh, like uh, like DB was saying, a, a Comanche tribe, and there's uh, the girl and the the main character is a girl, young woman named uh, Naru, a very weeby name, weeby name, yeah, <laughs> and uh, she. Uh, of course, it's a it's a hunter gathering tribe, so it's it's um uh, uh, to put it delicately, um, you know, because I uh, you know it, it, it's kind of an interesting little juxtaposition with with this because uh, certain people of a certain political persuasion um, like to look at the Native Americans, use they prop them up as you know being victimized and and all that well like flawless the noble savage as they call it yeah exactly um but at at the same time it's like the vast majority of native american tribes are very patriarchal (laughs) (laughs) Uh, well it it depends like the the, there were some it's like they they would have different spheres so it's like you might I, I think that there are good and of course actually i have a background in anthropology so i can tell you that uh any, if somebody says, oh, Native American tribes were this, if they can't name a specific tribe, they are full of it, most likely. Okay. It, it'd be like, it'd be like um, in terms of like the cultural differences um, and ways of living that were different, technologies, mm-hmm. traditions, beliefs, and et cetera. Um, imagine if somebody was talking about Asia. Are people from China different from people from India? Yes. It's a similar type of thing. Okay. Yeah. Maybe not as big of a racial difference, but culturally, you can have, you know, well, it's the same on the same continent. You had the Aztecs, the Comanches, and the Iroquois. So, right. yeah. Yeah. So it's, a, so it's a diverse group that I would have to do more research on the Comanches themselves to have anything intelligent to say. But yeah, okay. I, you know, like Aristotle said, the first step of knowledge is to know that you know nothing. So I'm just going to admit I did not do extra research to see if they represented the Comanche well. Yeah, I, I didn't either. Um, uh, sorry to say, uh, but they are pre- in the film. They are presented as being pretty patriarchal, right? Yeah, and, and I think that so the interesting thing about it, and I, there's like a line that when I was watching with my friends that he zeroed in on is i think this this is what the movie is about mm-hmm. uh, they talk about how uh, like she wants to be a hunter mm-hmm. and early on they show that she's not great at being a hunter right uh, uh, she actually has to to learn and get good mm-hmm. uh, and her i believe it was her mother said you know we don't hunt for fun we hunt to survive or we don't you know right which contrasts them against the other groups in the movie, which we'll probably get it more into the spoilers. Right. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Finish your. Finish your uh, I was just going to say, uh, so, so basically it's about Naru's journey to become a hunter, which, uh, you know, she runs into the things you'd expect, wild animals and French trappers and all that other fun stuff. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, but you know, so you could, so if you took the alien aspect out of it, you could have probably still had a pretty, you know, maybe a pretty standard coming of age story about a young woman bucking the traditions of her tribe and become, or at least, uh, you know, standing up and proving herself and becoming a mighty hunter. Just, there's this alien in the mix. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. There's there's a, a eight nine foot tall alien that's uh, <laughs> got it, who has technology far more advanced than anything any human has. Yes, and um, yeah. So it's basically focused on her journey. Um, a lot of people mentioned her dog as a strong point. They said that's a dog is a very good boy, very good actor. Yes. Yeah. Shockingly so. It's like it's a type of animal acting you usually associate with animated productions. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, while they're saying it's the highest rated Hulu produced or Hulu original ever, I think they made a mistake not putting this into theaters because this feels like this probably had a budget more in line with that 2010 Predators movie. Yeah. I think it, I think in the current environment where. You know, August has nothing coming out except for Bullet Train. Mm -hmm. They could have probably made some good money off of it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. The, uh, it, it seems to be uh, pretty well received. I mean, I think you and I both agree that it's it's a good movie. Um, mm -hmm. It's not. I mean, it's 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 not fan, like like I said. It's it's not the original. Like mm -hmm. like we said, the original is untouchable. Um, but it's, I, I think, I would say it's a, a serviceable, serviceable entry in the franchise. And um, definitely yeah. above par. Yes, definitely above par. Um, and I, I know this movie was getting a lot of attention in terms of, you know, like, like I was saying before with political stuff, which I think a lot of it, which having watched this movie, a lot of that was overblown. Well, well like, quite, quite frankly, they, it's how you can describe any movie to sound either amazing or awful. Mm -hmm. Like, like, oh, The Room is a psychological exploration of betrayal and love that ends in the hero's heart being ripped out of his chest, and he finally ends it at the last, ends it at the end. You know? You're telling me a party, son. Right. Like, like you could. Uh, that was just an off the cuff one, but like, you could yeah. try to craft a description that made The Room sound amazing. Meanwhile, right. it's like. Star Wars. Oh, some some kid gets in a ship and blows up a thing. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and the way that they chose to, like the first impression they chose to make with the marketing, was, uh, oh, it's about a young woman who overcomes the, you know, her tribe's whatever, and uh, just mm -hmm. emphasized what, I, what you might call the woke aspects. Yeah. Which, yeah. no, no, it almost feels like a trap. Yeah. I, I honestly think I, I think part of the I think that is a huge part of the problem with a lot of movies like this is the marketing. Mm -hmm. um, whoever they've got doing running the the studios, whoever they have doing their marketing, I don't know if it's in house or if they have another firm that handles it. Whoever is doing it, they need to be fired. I almost wonder if it was a brilliant bit of four D chess because. Uh... You know, Matt, you come out with that. One mm -hmm. half is going to like it. The other half is going to hate it. But it's both going to get them both talking about it. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. also much better than the first trailer made it look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, guess, I guess we should get into, like, the the technical aspects of it. So yes. this, this movie has a fair amount of CGI in it, mm -hmm. um, as you would expect from, from a Predator movie. Um, uh one of the things I did notice was that aside from the dog, all of the animals were CGI, mm -hmm. which I don't have a problem with um, because uh, I would I would say probably from a um, you know just from a logistical standpoint, right? It's yeah. You know, I mean, if you're gonna have a movie with snake, a giant snake, mountain lion, bear. Uh, Coyote, yeah, those are those are very uh, dangerous animals. <laughs> well, and and also now that they don't let you dynamite horses anymore, like they did in uh, what was that one? There was some movie in the eighties, Heaven's Gate. Heaven's, yes, oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like that one was. That, that's why we have that. Uh, no animals were harmed in the making of this movie thing because a guy literally dynamited a horse for a scene. Yeah. But, well, and yeah, yeah, and and you also had, uh, although even though this is an Italian movie, uh, but you had uh, Cannibal Holocaust, where they were actually killing animals, uh, which is yeah. why I would never watch that movie, <laughs> among other reasons. But uh, yeah, so yeah, you, yeah, you, you can understand yeah. it. 
And I wonder yeah, if yeah. that's part of what consigned this one to the small screen. Because I was watching this on my 24, 25 inch monitor, mm -hmm. and I thought it looked fine. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if that would have been different if I'd been watching it on my 4K TV. It looks it looks good on a 4K TV. I mean, I watched it okay. on my I watched it on a I have a 55 inch 4K TV and it, it looked good. Um, mm -hmm. So it it, it the it, it I, well I will say that some of the animals I would say the bear looked a little rough, but right. Um, yeah, the the um, it, it will the the way the bear runs looked a little didn't kind of, kind of look the way a bear would run just gotcha yeah but um but other than that i mean uh i i thought the effects were really good the effects with the predator were, were really good oh those uh, were amazing oh yeah yeah um and you know it, it, i would say like the you know the the effects in the original one you know were, were really great even for that time and th this just of course you know it being 30 plus years later, it really ratcheted right. better. Yeah, I, I, somebody showed me a picture of the suit. It, there was like a little bit of CGI assistance for some things, but it was a practical suit. Hmm. Yeah, and um, it, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, for for a movie like this, I mean, it's, it's, it's good, you know? Yeah, all that's modern, really good. Modern version of a TV movie, basically. Yeah, I, a, a slightly upscale TV movie. Yeah. Yep. Again, like I feel like they cost themselves money not putting this in theaters first, but yeah. Uh, oh well, uh, our gain because we didn't have to spend extra to go review it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so if you have a Hulu membership, no reason not to give this a watch. I would agree. Yeah. Oh, un unless it is R-rated though. So if you have okay. small children who can't deal with that type of thing, if you yourself are squicked out by blood and violence and gore yeah, yeah. I, I, okay with those previews out of the way if you if you enjoy action movies with maybe a bit of a sci-fi horror bent give it a shot yeah okay. yeah and thus ends the non-spoiler section of the review yes so spoilers from here on out spoiler uh, spoiler 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 yes. all right <laughs> okay, you, you, have been, you, you have been fairly warned. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah. one of the things that, so I had, like I said, I hadn't really seen The Predator until a couple years back. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that first trailer, what really struck me was that scene with her in the bog, where she's oh, like, yeah. the little shoes in the mud. It's like, oh, F you, you, you know, you're, you're appropriating Arnold's kill from that movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they are not, actually. Like, yeah. That was, yeah. So the, the, this movie is big on, I would say it's a very slow, quiet movie on the whole. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, that was just an environmental hazard that she found herself in that also set up where her last fight with the Predator was. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and um, there, there were definitely some, uh, there were some callbacks from the original. Um, you know, the, 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 the line, uh, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Yeah, which is uh, funny because when we were watching that, I, I predicted that that was he was going to say that at that exact moment. <laughs> we, we, my two other friends, and I, and I, and I mean, yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, and then of course the other one when she's you know about ready to kill the predator and she's yelling at him, "Come on, do it, do it!" <laughs> <laughs> yes, and of course the, the they have they have the pistol there that. Oh yeah, the pistol. Yeah, that, that's. Uh, I think it was from Predator Two. I've been told. Predator Two, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. There's a scene. It's near the end of the movie when, uh, yeah, the Predator throws the the antique pistol at Danny Glover, and it's. I guess it's yeah. the same one. And I, I don't know what that implies. If like the Predators came back and then killed the whole tribe, or you know, did that, they... that, that was one of those awful in interpretations you could do. Yeah, uh, a friend of mine pointed out that if it, so, did you watch past the credits? Uh, yes. Okay, so you saw like, the the stylized thing of the ships coming back. Yeah. yeah. Um, his, his theory was that uh, it's like you know predators are very much uh, honor bound and they're they're very about being fair and everything. Mm -hmm. So if they came back and found out that the predator they dropped off had been killed. They probably uh, yeah you know, maybe they did like some sort of trophy exchange or something. Ah. Like, uh, okay. 
It's like it doesn't mean that, that doesn't necessarily mean that they showed up and laid waste to the tribe. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Because that would that would suck. That would be like yes. um, that would be like in in like with um, like in Marvel when uh, you know, the first Guardians of the Galaxy when they went through all that to save uh, to save uh, Xandar. And then, and then in one throwaway line in Infinity War, Thor is like, "Oh yeah, Thanos wiped out Xandar." Well, well, I can give you an even worse one. So you remember in Thor Ragnarok how Thor spent the whole movie trying to save his people? At first, oh. he's trying to save Asgard, and then he's trying to save. And then he realizes, "Oh, Asgard is the people, not a place." Right. Yeah. Like, hey, everything's good forever, and then Thanos' ship just shows up at the end. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. like that would be that. That would be that level of oh god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh god, those poor people. Yes. Uh, okay. So yeah. All right. So the the I I think the the tribe will was was spared. Um, Which is good because man, this is a bloody movie. They lost like their that entire generation of young hunters. Yeah. Yeah. That that was yeah. They they got wiped out pretty you know, pretty badly. And, yeah. And they were extremely willing to beat the the absolute crap out of Naru. Yeah, I know that was. Which I, I guess I mean I don't know if there was a if there was a message there or well, like well. like the one the kind one kind of ringleader guy I swear that if uh, this was set at a modern high school he had been a white kid with blonde hair and he'd be talking about my dad owns a dealership yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he was that level of bully yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah so it, I mean. I, I would say too, like um, yeah, uh, with uh, with her, with Naru, um, you know, like we were saying before, you know, she she wanted to be wants to be a hunter, and she's learning how to do it, but it's you know not easy for her, um, and uh, you know, she's very impatient early on. Yes, yeah, she's very impatient. Yeah, and um, you know, she can't even can't even, or it, it's very difficult for her to hunt a rabbit. Right. Yeah, and uh, that was and, and that was actually uh, it, it, the other thing that's really good about this movie is you don't necessarily have to see the other Predator movies to know what's happening in this movie. Yes, they did a very good job. Just uh, all you got to know is okay, ship showed up, dropped off a big thing, mm -hmm. left, and now and then you see, you know, you see it uh, fight a coyote, rip, you know, hold a bear over its head. Yeah. Yeah, there there are some really good fight sequences in this one. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, well, and and him, you know, fighting the the coyote and the bear and everything that it establishes that because in, in the scene with the coyote, the coyote's chasing the rabbit, mm -hmm. and it is it establishes that he, you know for people who don't know anything about Predator, he doesn't care about the the rabbit; he cares about the coyote because the coyote can fight back. Yeah, but there's also like this one scene where like a a, a rat catches an ant mm -hmm. and eats it, and then the battle snake bites the rat and starts eating it, and then the predator shows up and just rips the skin off the rattler as a trophy. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Like this, this, this is a feral guy. Yeah, he, yeah. The yeah the predator was pretty um, more like more in line with the predator in the first movie, the original movie. You know, just. Uh, yeah, just killing. It, well, not not indiscriminately killing, but uh, but when when he would kill, like he was pretty brutal. <laughs> right. It's uh, I, I'd say this one is a bit less sadistic. Like it's, it doesn't like to play with people as much. Right. Yeah. Um, and uh, the other thing too, uh, and I, I think it's probably uh, it's I think it's in keeping with the fact that it's three hundred years in the past. His technology is a little more antiquated, right? I mean, he's he's shooting arrows with a, basically a magnetic gun or a maglev gun, mm -hmm. Gauss rifle, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, uh, he doesn't have the plasma caster, which some people have taken issue with. But it's like, even if they had plasma casters, I have a sneaking suspicion that that predator would have not have been the least bit disappointed if they'd picked him up and he'd never run into a single human. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was just there on safari. Like he wasn't. You, know, like you don't bring a machine gun with you when you're deer hunting. Yeah. No. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. He, the, you know, that yeah, that is a fair point. He probably was, wasn't there to hunt humans. He was there to, to hunt the wildlife. I, I imagined uh, uh, the conversation as they were briefing him on, you know, on, on the hunting ground. Oh, yeah, there's some sort of bipedal animals. They they have some stone tools or something. It's kind of cute. Yeah, they, 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 they got some bows and arrows. Uh, 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 right. Uh, oh, uh, there's some guys who have bows. Like it's like a tube that they have to spend a minute loading. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that was a great scene when the the Frenchmen were trying to. Uh, yeah, trying to uh, shoot them with the muskets. Yeah, and then yeah, they just <laughs> did not, just no so just no sold it, and then there's, they like, like, and then they go back to trying to reload their muskets real quick. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, the uh, yeah the, the yeah the scene with the the, the fur trappers that was uh, really that that was kind of um, uh, what's the word I want to look for? I don't want to say tacked on, but it definitely uh, that it, I, th I think they needed like another group of people to they, they, yeah they needed a complication right yeah they need yeah they needed a another human complication which is kind of in line with the other predator movies um right yeah the, the predator is never the only bad thing going on right from what yeah. from what i've seen and heard yeah like the original one they were like in uh central south america, america yeah. south america yeah they were fighting these bad guys down there and then All right it was second. basically uh what do you call it um it's basically like if you, the original one was basically if you took a Rambo movie and suddenly an alien version of Jason from Friday the 13th showed up. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then the second movie was uh, the gang warfare in LA. Right. Yeah. Um, they made the interesting okay. choice not to translate what the Frenchmen were saying, mm -hmm. okay. yeah. which makes sense because Oh, by the way, there's also a Comanche dub of this. Apparently, uh, it is kind of overdubbed, and the lips, lip flaps don't line up. Oh, well, yeah. Because it wasn't filmed in that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, good on them for adding it after the fact. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, even if it's kind of like a, a like an Italian horror movie. <laughs> but, um, uh, but, yeah, it's... Um, the the yeah that whole sequence with the but the of course the I think it was in that that whole sequence there was when she kind of figures out that um, he doesn't kill people unless they have a weapon or you know right yeah which I gotta say I think that's the other reason you need more human complications just more examples for her to use to figure out their patterns right yeah. Um, the, another thing too, uh, I want to point, I wanted to point out was with the, the movie having a, a, a female lead or, or a, you know, a woman hero, uh, heroine, um, is, uh, in all the predator movies, one of the constant, in all the predator movies is that the female character in the movie always survives at the end, kind of the final girl, you know, right. Just there's usually only one girl because you don't need a bunch of teenagers in Crystal Lake going to. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, of course, it, it, uh, there, there, were, there was no scene where, where, where a character was yelling, get to the top off. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, this, this movie stands on its own. And if yeah. the other ones were like Rambo or or a gang movie where the, the predator interrupted it, this was like I said, like a typical coming of age in a different environment. You know, the young lady has to try to overcome the prejudice of her tribe or whatever type right. movie. Just, just then the predator showed up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the predator. Yeah, and and um, and one of the things I know some people were uh, like. Uh, kind of complaining about was her figuring out the technology like because you know, she gets his helmet mm -hmm. and because she figures out that the the red lasers you know shoot the arrows and they just go wherever they're pointed no matter where where he's aiming uh, that's why she needed the frenchmen and her tribes people to act as meat shields to while she figured that out <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah and uh and so yeah, but yeah, so she she figured that out, and um, 
I, I will. And um, uh, there was one thing I, I, I actually was really worried about the that the dog wasn't going to survive. Yeah, he was a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. And because uh, and, usually what happens in these movies is, you know, the, at least at least if, if this were in the 80s, the dog might not have survived. But it's 20. Well, if, if this were a coming of age story, new burial award winning thing. Basically, if you see a if you see a kid's book with a dog on the cover and it's got some sort of award, the dog did not make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I read I read a few of those when I was a kid. Yeah, they they really wanted to introduce you to death in the most like mean way possible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one thing I will say is that the only part of the movie where I had problems with her was that she tanked a few hits in that last fight. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, you know, she's like a hundred pounds, five foot four, whatever. Mm-hmm. I had a, I, I can believe a big chunk of beef like Arnold could take a couple of punches from the predator. Yeah. Her less, like, it, they, I think they did all right. Like, it, it, like it had been being slowly whittled down by everybody else, including, you know, shot with arrows, shot with musket balls. Mm-hmm. It had been shot through the head at one point, and she was mostly dodging. So it's like, okay, I can, I can suspend that disbelief. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I didn't really have that much of an issue with it. I mean, it was, yeah, it, it's, it's a little unbelievable. But then again, this is a movie with a, with a giant alien, right? It, it, people, you know? right, it's one of those things where it's like, it, it, most things, yeah, yeah, you try to be plausible in like the real life details, just to allow you to have the weird thing, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it is the nittiest of nitpicks, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I think in, in, and I want to say too, the, the story is not, uh, overly complicated either. I mean, it does, it, you know, you, you do have a little bit of the, the subplot of her, you know, like we were saying before being, you know, coming of age and becoming a hunter and everything, but a little there's bit nothing Disney princess mode. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the, but there's no, like. There's no other stuff going on, you know. There's no, there's no other subplot, but you know, the you don't, you don't have any other stuff with the fur trappers. You don't have like another, right. like maybe another like group of people that are doing something else, or you know, like, mm-hmm. yeah. And and thankfully, this, you know, of course, it's 1719, so this is before the United States became a country, and so you don't have somebody from the U.S. military showing up. And... <laughs> Man, it's gonna, I'm, I'm trying to think of like what the equivalent of the jerk, the jerk uh, guy from like you know like if it was 1819, what the jerk guy would be su- suggesting instead of nuking the place or whatever. But oh, yeah. I can't think of it. Just just hitting it with cannons. Yes. Uh, we have a full cannon bombardment, but that's where the women and children are. I said full cannon bombardment. Okay, so it'll be five minutes. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, yeah, but thankfully that none of that was in there. I mean, this is you know very uh, I would say very much a very character driven story and a mm-hmm. you know just a good a good solid movie to you know to watch and you know like I said serviceable entry in the franchise certainly better than certainly you know, of course oh I, I well I can't say that I can't say it's better than Shane Black's one because i haven't seen that um we can assume we can assume yeah I, I've, I've seen reviews of that movie and yeah it's yeah. the uh, aliens dosing them or the, the, the predators dosing themselves with human autism to uh get superpowers yes because because autism is the next stage of human evolution uh yeah. um but it was, I would say it was better than Predators, uh, better than AVP. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, I would say better, it's it's in line with the second one. Right. And yeah, so I would say that, I, like I mentioned before, this felt like, I almost wanted to wonder if the marketing was bait, like they intentionally described it in that way to make it sound like she was another Ray or something. And they intentionally chose them almost in the trailer to try to make you think, oh, it's another usurping character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. One, uh, one wonders. Yeah. Like, uh, have, have have you seen the second season of Only Murders in the Building yet? Yes. Okay, so you notice that they played with that too, where they had 
him come back to the role as Brazos, but they had the new Brazos who was, you know, young black woman who was his niece and he was in a wheelchair and he was struggling with dementia. Yeah. 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 It's like, man, this feels exactly what they do to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> this movie is not that. Right. No, no. Nara was a fine character. She is the heroine of her story, and she deserves to be the heroine of her story. She has to be smart and figure things out as she goes along. She doesn't start off great. Right. Yeah. Yes. And um, but and yeah, I I, uh, I I I would recommend it. Yeah, like we, like we said before. Yep. Um, yeah. I will also give a, ta- a a tip of the hat that everybody who's who was kind of predicting it to be a woke disaster early on. Mm-hmm. Uh, they basically saw it and they interviewed it on it or they interviewed it, they reviewed it honestly mm-hmm. like some thought it was average some thought it was really good some did go with the hype level of best since the original anybody who says it's better than the original is uh that's a sign that they're playing for that other side of the fence mm-hmm. yeah yeah uh, but it's uh no it is a fine movie and i think that again with the provisas that you can handle blood and violence and stuff like that yeah. Uh, it, it's worth a watch and i think that you know while they're getting good numbers of it for hulu all those streaming services except for netflix itself are net not profitable so uh, they probably cost themselves some money not putting into movie theaters first yeah yeah they they, they could have they could have made some coin off of it i think yeah. yep oh well that's that's uh, on bob chapek side or whoever makes those choices so right yeah, yeah. but uh man yeah. Don't uh, don't go hiding your good movies under a barrel because uh, spoiler alert or callback depending on when this gets posted, um, the stuff they actually do choose to put into theaters is not the best, right, Daniel? Right. <laughs> so yeah. uh, th- this will be posted after we do our live stream tonight, but you can always catch the replay. Uh, we're mm-hmm. We, we're live every Thursday at 5 p.m. And as we talk about kind of like the kind of just the major industry news of the week, talk, especially related to pop culture, genre fiction and things like that. Yeah. 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 We we uh, we gen, we in general, we try to have a, uh, try to have a fun time with it and, you know, give our give our, our, our you know, armchair quarterbacking uh opinions on these stuff and... we know so much better than the paid professionals which feels like it's half sarcasm and half yeah actually Maybe, yeah <laughs> i guess i guess it depends on which professionals we're, we're talking yes. about <laughs> but um yeah. yeah uh if you like this give us a like give us a comment if you hated it tell us why what we yes. can do to improve if you'd like to stick around uh give us a sub and otherwise uh you folks all have yourselves a great night. Unless, uh, yeah. Daniel, you have anything to... Uh, oh, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this movie? Oh, scale of 1 to 10. So I'm not going to do an... Av- I'm not going to do like a weighted to the, to the series average because I haven't... Okay. Yeah, this is my second Predator movie. I would probably put this at around uh, 7 or 8 on the on my enjoyment scale. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would, I would put it at about a 7.5. So yeah, so I think we're, we're yeah. on par with that one. But uh, All right. there were a couple of scenes that went on a little long, or uh, but I, I, it's hard to knock many points off of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, yeah, as uh, DB uh, put it before, you know, do all the do all that stuff he just mentioned. Uh, all the YouTube uh, things. All the YouTube stuff. Yes, we we appreciate it uh yeah uh, thank you for any thank you to anyone who uh, will be watching this and uh yeah we'll uh we'll see you on uh you know thursday nights you know if you want to come by and join us so yeah. yep later everybody good night and, uh, why is it this